there was one point yesterday where I was like, oh, I should have been more prepared. <laughs> I was like, oh, I should have asked better questions. <laughs> Wow, key tonight. It happened so recently and yet it happened so long ago. I remember that I thought we were doing some other shoot that day. So basically I was just finishing up some work and working on stuff for the musical I was doing in my guest house when all of a sudden a very aggressive knock was at my door. We're here on behalf of Cornfield Associates. We're gonna need you to put these on, please. And Desiree and Jack put a thing over my head and walked me into a car and then drove me around for an hour where I got mildly car sick the entire time. Cheers to uh... kidnapping Key. I'm kind of nauseous. Hi, Key. Hi. How are you? Go to the right a little bit. I mean, a little nauseous, but otherwise pretty okay. And then was dumped out into a stage, put on a suit, and bam, it was a late night show. It was pretty amazing and super fun. How did it go in your perspective? Oh, I think it went great. My one sort of regret is that Keith has this incredible ability to turn on as soon as he's in front of a live audience. So the surprise of it lasted for him for like maybe a millisecond. However, that is also his greatest strength and watching him do that was pretty incredible. My favorite part of Keith tonight was watching Keith step out on stage and with no preparation and no warning, he just nailed it. Like, it was like he'd rehearsed it all day. Welcome to Keith tonight. I'm Keith Aversberger. You did so well with it. I'm worried that the internet is gonna say it was Photoshopped. Right, it wasn't real. Knew. I know, I but. did, it did, I mean, I was able to snap in, and the reason I snap into accepting the reality and creating it is it is something I want to do, but I've also talked about how I think I'd be great at it. So I couldn't like waste any time not nailing it. This is my audition. I consider this, like we paid all this money to tape it. Let's get it, get it right. How was it having a full live audience? That was probably the best part of it. I think what I always, love is performing for an audience. Even when we're doing Eat the Menus, having like a couple other people in the room gives me someone to perform to rather than just a camera. Uh, but actually having a real audience that was like laughing and applauding and cheering, it just, it made it feel like it wasn't actually a film shoot, but a, a live show, which is what I like to do a lot. The immediate feedback of the feeling in the room and the laughter and the applause really adds to that live performance. I find it thrilling even when we just do the Eat with Keith live. Like seeing everyone in the chat, like a lot of us were theater kids, I was a theater major, and it gives me those theater vibes. So having people there was pretty magical. It is very gratifying when someone makes a joke and then the whole audience laughs, you know, like it, uh, Sometimes when it's just the crew, we're all so focused on our jobs that even if we think something's funny, we're not necessarily gonna laugh. But having an audience there kind of gave us permission to have a little more fun. How did the uh, setup and production of it go prior to Keith showing up? Well, we were deciding what to film end of January, and we knew we had these surprises to film, and I was trying to find a way to film a surprise late night talk show for Keith. And simultaneous to this happening, Zach went in the hospital again. So I was like, okay, I wanna do this, and also I'm losing Zach, but I can't host an audience of like 100 people here at our studios, so what can I do, what can I do? I FaceTimed Zach while he was in the hospital, I was like, so the time frame in which we would do it before we all leave for Mexico for your wedding is about seven days, so should I do this or not? And he looks at me and he goes, we said we'd do what we wanted with this like new era of the company. I was like, yeah. He was like, do we want to do it? I was like, we do. It was seven days away, but it was five days from when we would start the pre-light on the stage. So we had about five days to find a space and to work with our art team to figure out how to build something for not too terribly expensive in that space and to work with our lighting team to figure out how to light it. And we built it out from scratch there really, really, really quickly. 
pre-show thoughts? This build took a lot longer than we wanted it to. Um, also, Zach was supposed to be here, but he's in the hospital. Keith is texting me about Zach being like, are we still shooting this afternoon? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. He's fine. He's not fine. Given that, you know, we prepped it so quickly, I'm pretty happy with like the show structure. I'm pretty happy with the aesthetics of it. I think the guest we got was really cool. So if you had to do another tonight talk show, who would be your top guest? I don't know. My top guest would be someone I don't know. I mean, actually the really cool thing about it is that we had a lot of people we had people say yes, it's just they couldn't do it on the schedule we could do it on, but they're good people. Like huge, like... Huge people. Primetime guests, like yeah. good good guests for any show, yeah. let alone ours. <laughs> it doesn't exist. It was fun having Keith's friends write for it, having Lou Burger there was great, so yeah. No, I'm pretty happy with it. It's so funny because all of Keith's friends are sort of the components of a late night show already. <laughs> like he's got writer friends, he's got me and Huey as his band, he's got like character performer friends. So it's just like very seamless and easy to put together almost. It was really um, overwhelming and wild and cool and it incorporated so many of my friends, Brian and Mark writing it, Lou Berger doing the music, uh, Zach obviously conceptualizing all of it and Rachel making it all happen. Anything to say to future Keith who finds out that this is real and you guys were hiding Yes, from. I have something to say to future <laughs> Keith. Remember yesterday rehearsal when I said I was going to be so busy all day Monday, unavailable. Oh, I'm doing all this stuff. Guess what I was doing? This. For you. For you. For you. Yeah, for you. Here's what I have to say to Keith. Now that you've done it, you knew you could. What a dream. I look forward to more, because I know you just got bit by a little bug, and the bug's gonna keep biting, baby. Future Keith, I hope you um, feel this gift as much as I am giving to it, because I'm gonna need like two years of my life back. <laughs> I must really love these boys. It was really sick. It was so cool, and uh, it felt very natural to be doing it. It was great to have a teleprompter and the script was written and I was just going. It was cool. It was really cool. After doing that, we we're like, maybe we should just do it like this all the time. I'll just find out what we're doing in the moment. It'll always be like this game of everyone knows what's happening except for Keith, uh, which I think would be a really fun format for a late night show. It will also help because I don't always know celebrities' names. I'm only wearing Crocs. How far am I going? That's fine. Okay. <laughs> like, I, I don't really want to leave the house like this. We are leaving the house. Do you have your phone? I have my phone. Do you have your wallet? No. Go get your wallet well, first. Why, why would I assume I was being, if I'm being kidnapped? Go get your wallet! Normally if I'm being kidnapped, I it would get your wallet! What? I'm getting it! I'm getting it! I'm putting on real shoes! <laughs> Could I pee before we go no. to- No. Do you really have to pee? Of course. I wouldn't ask if it was just okay, a joke. Go. All right, okay, all right. Okay, all right. This right. way. Go, 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 go. I, uh, I already, I mean, I wore my sunglasses for this. I thought it'd be more of a serious thing, but I guess, uh, I guess that's fine. <laughs>